Good morning. Let's read our first story of the day. Here we go. Baby Brains, the smartest baby in the whole world. In the months before Baby Brains was born, Mrs. Brains was very busy. She read out loud every night to the baby inside her tummy. She played music and language on headphones to her baby during the day. Mr. and Mrs. Brains wanted to make sure their baby was going to be very smart. They even turned up the television when the news came on. Mr. and Mrs. Brains were very excited when their baby was born. It was a boy. Our very own baby Brains, said Mr. Brains proudly. When they brought him home from the hospital, Mrs. Brains laid him down in the brand new crib. Sleep tight, baby Brains, she whispered. The next morning, Mrs. Brains was on her way to get breakfast when she heard some strange noises in the living room. Mrs. Brains opened the door to see her baby sitting on the sofa, reading the morning paper. That's odd. By afternoon, baby Brains was fixing the car. We certainly have a bright one here, said Mr. Brains. That evening, baby Brains spoke his first words. I'd like to go to school tomorrow, he said. The next day, Baby Brains visited the local school. He sat down with the children and answered all the questions. The children were amazed. At the end of the afternoon, the teacher thanked Baby Brains. I don't think I've ever learned so much in one day, she said. On the way home, Baby Brains said he wanted to go to college and study medicine. After just two weeks, Baby Brains began working as a doctor at the local hospital. He was very popular with all the staff and patients. Word soon spread out about the extraordinary baby brains. Everyone wanted to meet him. One night, some space scientists called. They asked if baby brains would like to help with their next space mission. The following day, Mr. and Mrs. Brains and their baby traveled to the space center. After training hard over the weekend, Baby Brains waved goodbye to Mr. and Mrs. Brains and blasted off into outer space. Everyone in the world held their breath as they watched Baby Brains take his first spacewalk. Tell us how you feel on this special occasion, radioed ground control. Baby Brains looked up at the vast starlit sky above him. He looked down at the vast starlit sky below him. He looked at the whole world in front of him and mumbled something. We can't quite hear you, radioed ground control. Could you repeat that? I want my mommy, wailed Baby Brains. <laughs> That's enough, Mrs. Brains yelled to the space controller. Bring my baby home right now. Baby Brains was flown home as quickly as possible. He felt very embarrassed as he stepped down from the hatch. But, but, through the crowd of photographers and cameramen, Mrs. Brains came running. Our beautiful little baby, sighed Mrs. Brains, as she lifted him high into the air. Our brave little baby, said Mr. Brains. Can we go home? asked Baby Brains. At home, Mrs. Brains gave Baby Brains a warm bath, which made him feel a whole lot better. Mr. Brains tickled him, which made him laugh. And Mrs. Brains sang Baby Brains to sleep. Then they gently laid him down in the brand new crib. It was good to have their baby home again. Our very own Baby Brains, whispered Mrs. Brains. From that day on, Baby Brains spent most of his time at home, doing the things that most babies do. Except, that is, on weekends. When he still liked to help out at the local hospital. All right. I love that story. It's so good. I'll see you guys later.